Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, YouTube. I know I've been really inconsistent, and I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to like be more consistent. I'm gonna try to put out two videos a week, cause I know I haven't been consistent. And but today I want to talk about this one thing. Oh, and good morning, YouTube. Today, I really want to talk about this one thing that is probably, hinder is probably hindering or stopping or slowing down your progress. And because this happens to me a lot, and I do this myself, overthinking. The one thing that could be hindering your progress is overthinking. You could be overthinking a lot. Overthinking, and I even took some notes down on, on how overthinking hinders your progress. So let's get right into it, guys. Overthinking can hinder your progress because, number one, overthinking causes you to get in your head and overanalyze everything, as they say. Anal what is it? Anal anal analysis paralysis. It causes you to get in your head and overthink everything. And it just causes you... Why I can't say that word? Anal and Elias paralysis. I can't get that word out. But yeah, it calls, the first thing is overthinking causes you to get in your head and overanalyze things. Second thing, over overthink how over second way overthinking hinders your progress. Overthinking causes you to fear and worry. Yeah, overthinking does that. It causes you to have fear and it causes you to worry. It causes you to be afraid and fearful. Third thing, it causes you to make, it causes you to overdo things. <laughs> Sometimes I can't read my own handwriting, but yeah, it causes you to overdo things. You could be like thinking you have to do X, Y, C, X, Y, C, or this, that, and the third, and you really don't, or you, you could be just overdoing things, anxiety. I mean, overthinking can cause you to do th overdo things. The next thing, or one of the other things, or last but not least, or, this may not be the last thing, but it also, it may cause you to add un actual, it may cause you to add actual unnecessary stuff. Same thing as the last two, I mean, the last thing before this. Overthinking can cause you to add unnecessary Actual unnecessary, I can't talk today, actual unnecessary steps or things that you, it causes you to add things that you think you had to do, but you really didn't have to do. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. Hold up. I, I can't think of an example, but hold up. This is what I will say. This week or a couple times in the past, there was things that, I really need to get done or I thought that I had to get, get do to complete a certain type of goal and you know what I really didn't have to do that so overthinking can cause you to add unnecessary extra steps and I realized like wait wait a minute I did not have to do this to get to this goal I didn't have to do this to do this that's just me overthinking the process that's just unnecessary steps overthinking can cause you can have a goal a large goal and you can put over you can add unnecessary steps that you don't really have to take. Like, why well, give you an example? I remember one time, there was a time when I wanted to write a book, and I still do. I want to still write and publish my first book. And I thought that you had, I used to think that you had to do all these things. I didn't know how to write a book, and I used to think, okay, you got to get an editor, get a publisher, do all these different things. But now that I realize, I went on YouTube, looked up a video on how to publish on your book on Amazon and KDP and the process looked easy and what she did, what the lady did, she showed how to upload your, how to self-publish your book on Amazon and KDP and I was like, wow, that's all I had to do? That's all I had to do? I was complicating this the whole time and another thing, a lot of things that I wanted to do and I thought you had to do this X, Y, C when really you didn't. It was simple. It was simple, like lip gloss. Take another example, for example. One day, I would love to start a lip gloss line. 
and with clothing line. And I used to would think that how in the world do these people create these clothing lines? But even though I don't know how to create a clothing line, you I know one step in the process. You got to buy the material to make the clothes. You got to buy sewing things. You got to I don't know everything that you got to buy, but it wasn't that complicated. Or to make lip gloss, you got to buy the supplies to make lip gloss. You got to buy your lip gloss tubes, your base, very gel, your syringe, your pipettes, things like that. I don't know the whole process, but I'm thinking, wow. I've been making these things complicated, very complicated, but that's not my goal, but that's something I would like to do in the future, but like in the past, I haven't had a goal that I want to achieve, a goal that I haven't wanted to achieve, and I put all these steps down, and it got to the place where I realized, wait a minute, I don't need to do this, this is, un this is unnecessary, this is extra, let me get this off my list, because sometimes when you overthink, it can hinder your progress because it can cause you to complicate the process of getting to your goal or whatever you're trying to achieve or whatever it is you want to do maybe it's not a goal maybe maybe it's a passion project maybe it's like a hobby that you've been wanting to start whatever it is overthinking can hinder the progress it can slow up the progress and that's all i wanted to say thank you for watching and i know that i've been inconsistent youtube i know that i've been inconsistent but i'm going to try to upload more content for you guys. I'm trying to I'm gonna try to get out two videos per week. I'm gonna try to upload two to three videos for you guys. Well I'm gonna try to upload two videos for you guys and I'm gonna try to be consistent. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna upload more content. I'm gonna try to upload more content. Two videos a week. Peace. Have a blessed day.